Hi to everyone and welcome to my channel. Before we get started, please consider subscribing. Now, from a while, I started to have the feeling that the quality of my video link started to decrease, even if I fly in the same place, alone, in the same condition like I did before, with the VTX in the same position, having the same airflow, etc. So, the idea of this movie is not to invest in a better patch antenna or to buy a new and more powerful VTX. Instead, it is to preserve and drain the last drop of power from the existing system. In this quadcopter, all components are original and I didn't replace any of them. The antenna is connected to the VTX based on an MMCX connector through a pigtail. And I decide to replace the original pigtail with the one of these new pigtails. I suspected that one of the pigtail connectors had worn over the time. In order not to overheat the video transmitter, I use a small fan all the time. The fan is powered up by a small power supply. Now let's power up the fan. To determine the best pigtail with the smallest losses, I use an RF power meter. In all the experiments, the power of the VTX is set at 600 milliwatts. First, I will measure the output power based on the original pigtail. Three values will be recorded. The first one when I connect the power, the second one after two seconds and the third one after another 20 seconds. Now we have the first set of data. In the following I will use this pigtail to measure the output power in the same condition at the same time moments as in the first experiment. Ok, as you can see, the differences are shockingly huge. In the last, I will use this pigtail to measure the output power. Both of these pigtails have been bought from AliExpress.
This table presents all the previous power results when I connected the battery after 2 seconds and after another 20 seconds. The measurements that are consistent and relevant are the ones obtained after 2 seconds and after 22 seconds, mainly because at the beginning we have a transient regime that starts when the battery is connected. So, the first and the most important conclusion is to use high quality components. The power difference between the first measurement and the other two is huge. It is around 200 milliwatts. But buying a high quality pigtail is a big problem, mainly because it is impossible to know when you buy a good pigtail or when you buy one with higher losses. To check this, you can use an RF power meter as in these experiments or by trials. You must fly and see the actual flying range of your quadcopter. In time, the losses in a pigtail given by the losses in coax cable and in the mechanical adapters of SMA and MMCX type start to increase. If we compare the second and the third line of the table, you see a difference of around 25 milliwatts. I know, it is seems to be a little power, but from my experience, when I set the VTX on 25 milliwatts, I can fly a range of around 200 meters in open space, maybe a little more. So, this was all. Thank you very much, and I hope you understand a little better now why you do not get the desired range and how you can solve this problem. Bye!